They said that a little girl appears in that window. What the was that? Who is walking in here? Oh. Whoa! Holy! Oh my God! Wow! What was that? What the hell? Oh. We moved here in 2007. Didn't really notice a lot for the longest time until we started building. But here recently, it seems like since I've started doing investigations myself is when things have really ramped up. And whether I brought something home, I don't know. A woman's name, Sandra, came up and she keeps coming up every place I go, even here. Right here, there was a vase like that, but it was great big and had great big shells in it. And my husband was standing there and he said that he saw that vase just went off and it hit my elbow. My grandson had just walked around and if it had hit him in the head, it would have probably knocked him out. It shattered, it sounded like before it even hit the floor behind me. I would hear knocks and bangs and stuff when I'm here. I heard a big noise and I turned around and it was on the floor and it was actually, it didn't look like it, but it was broken half when you picked it up. I've heard a voice in this area, when we listened to it on my daughter's TV, it was a full sentence. There has been orbs every place in here. My grandson has seen something hit the door. He said it was a black figure with a monster face and long fingers. My granddaughter sees a little girl ghost in the window and she's afraid of her. I put a couple cat balls out and they lit up immediately. One right over there where the voice was. I was sitting here and I got real lightheaded and it kept saying there was a child here. And I said, are you doing this to me? Cause I was getting very ill and I was bending over. And it said, it isn't me. And I said, who is it? Who's doing it? And it said, Sandra, which is the same name that keeps coming up. I don't know if it's her doing this to me, but I got very sick and had to go outside. Lots of things like that. It sounded like something fell in the bedroom one day. It sounded like a great big box fell and glass shattered. So I walked in and there was nothing there. So I don't know what it was. We tried to do a session and it, it, my footage keeps getting ruined every time I try to do it. By myself, which I shouldn't have done, I was doing a session because that day is when that thing had scared my grandson and he was really upset about it. And he's autistic, it really, Sorry. He was so terrified. And my granddaughter doesn't want to come here sometimes because of the ghost. So I was so angry that I did a session by myself and, and we had brought the bed out here so we were doing a bedroom. My husband was asleep right here. Sorry. I said, make yourself known. Who are you? You scare my grandson. And when I did, my phone shut off and I heard this, it sounded like a Charlie Brown voice. I just I froze for a second and I thought it was my husband. So I kind of laughed and said, you scare me to death. But I didn't hear anything. And I was like, Mike, Mike. And he wouldn't answer me. Well, finally I got him awake and it was not him. I don't know what it was. And when I, the very next day, cause I was kind of freaked out. So I turned all the lights on. The next day I did a spirit talker and I, cause I was afraid to that night. And I said, who are you? Who talked to me? And the name come up, Glenn. In, and it's come up again the other night when we were doing this. When he goes in the bedroom, he has made a remark about a toy that shouldn't move. And that's all he would tell me. It's hard for him to explain things to you because it took me a while to kind of get out of him and figure out what he actually saw. Because I was in the bathroom a few feet away and the, the animals were asleep. The girls were in there watching TV. I was combing my hair and it sounded like the door literally was knocked off the hinges. I stepped out in the hall. I said, Ryland, did you do that? And he, he was just standing there staring at me. I said, did it do it by itself? And he said, yes, Mimi. And he just kept standing there staring at me. So strange. Well, then it was a couple weeks before he finally told me what it was he saw. And because every time he would come here, he was afraid to go back there. There's a lot of stuff here and that wasn't here before like this. It just started, maybe I brought something home. Very mean spirit calling names and stuff. It would call me by name and would call me names, really bad names. And last night when we did that session here, I was called one of those names twice. So I don't know what's up with that. It made me cry really hard. Somebody had been raped in there, it come across, and I was, I mean, I was like, oh my God, and I started crying and I couldn't get up. My son had to literally help me outside. I felt embarrassed, but I couldn't stop it. But that time it had ramped up really bad. It was talking to me like I was a piece of crap. My son got mad and started yelling at it and I told him not to do that. We ended up leaving because it just got so bad. It was calling me stuff just continuously. I'm hoping that something from there didn't come because it wasn't very nice.
cleanse this place and get out whatever is here. I want my grandkids to be able to come and not say, I'm afraid, take me home. That breaks my heart. Afraid is gonna hurt my grandkids. A few months ago with a touch on my face when I was sitting here and it felt like a finger just went like that really soft because it seemed like once that happened, stuff started happening. Normally I wouldn't do sessions here because I don't like doing that. But I did because I knew something was here and I was wanting to see if it would tell me what it was or who it was, you know, I don't know. Because last night it said, I know who you are or something to that order. So I don't know if it's somebody that passed away. I have no idea. All she does is just show herself to Emmy, always that window. And it was weird because that's where the cat ball lit up and that's where the voice was. But it was a like a male voice, it wasn't a child voice. I keep hearing walking like back in this area. And there's nothing back there. It's like back in that hole. What's back in that room? I had it locked and it literally, it was still locked and it knocked it, the bottom part out and the top part out this way. Like it did it from the inside, from inside out. But he said he's seen it do this. first got started, I thought I heard footsteps back there. And then I heard like a small knocking noise back there. See, I hear knocking back there all the time when I'm getting ready in and the bathroom. Behind me and then just now, because you have when you walk on this floor, mm -hmm. it's kind of got that crackling yeah. sound to it. That's mm -hmm. what it sounded like back there. Let's do a walkthrough real quick. Okay. Um, if you just pick that mic up and keep that with yes. you. Yes. is Brooklyn's room, our daughter, and all the grandkids play in here all the time. The kids haven't said a lot about right in this room. Most of it's out here, out in this part of the house. Right here is where I heard that voice, that disembodied voice, and then the cat ball I had here and it lit up, and this is a window where my granddaughter keeps seeing that little girl. This is where I have my camera set up right here, and I did not have my big microphone. It was just the camera itself, and it's not very big, so for that to be picked up like it did was pretty loud. And then in here though, this right here is where a vase that was twice as big as this that came off and hit me in the elbow when I was right here. My grandson had just walked around me and it hit my elbow and I managed to catch everything and it crashed right here behind me. And then over here, I have my face touched. I've just had all kinds of things in here, noises. Back here is where I was standing and my grandson was right there watching the washer go. And this door right here, I had it locked and it hit really hard and it like moved, it didn't unlock, but it moved it. I stepped out here and asked him and he was standing there facing the door, terrified and said that it did it by itself. And I hear noises all the time in that room when I'm in here getting ready. It's just mainly that room and the bedroom, I heard a big crash in one day and there was nothing that fell and then everything out here, it's mainly in the living room part it sounded like something fell and broke but nothing did and that's that's the only thing that's ever happened in there everything's been out here and right there the biggest part out here this is where most everything happens is out here i hope you guys this footage doesn't get messed up mine's messed up every single time i try to take it it either shuts off or it, when I, it shows it's recording last night it showed it recording it popped over i went to watch it and it was 39 seconds of nothing so i don't really have a lot to show for anything we've done if there's anybody in here with us, my name's Josh. We're here tonight to help Bev. Can you tell me who's in here? Yeah. What is your name? Yeah. Is there a little girl here? Yeah. What is a little girl's name? If we stay here tonight, will you talk to us? Yeah. Who is the man? If you've got a message, we can help you get that message out. Yeah. We're going to be here to listen to you. Like I said, don't listen. Are you the one that's mean to Bev? Are you the one calling Bev names? What did you call Bev? 
That's not nice to call bad names. Did you hear that again? I did. Who's back in that room? Man. Did you hear that? Yes. Why is the man back there? Okay, we'll come back later when it gets dark out and talk to you. So she believes it could be a male spirit and a little girl spirit. The grandkids have seen the little girl looking through this window here. So I've got a camera facing that window. Right. If you're the guy that I was Is talking- a voice? Right before you started yeah. talking, there's a voice. It sounded like the same voice that we it's, just heard. It's back here somewhere. Are you back here talking? If there's anybody in here with us, my name is Josh. This is Rocky and Sean. Are you trying to communicate with us? We've heard a male's voice twice now. Whoa, out here. Oh, alarm's going off. Where's it at? It's right here beside me. Are you setting my alarm off? Did you hear that? It sounded like a kid. We're just here to talk to you tonight. If you're trying to communicate with the family or the kids that come here, clearly you're trying to get a message out. And we can listen to you. It's back here. I thought I heard Walton back in here. Towards the bathroom. Yeah, this is where I heard the walking earlier. There's something. Something just moving back here. It's right behind me, Josh. I know, I heard that was like a male. Did you hear it moan? Yeah. Who was that? Something, Josh, go back in that room. Just wait one second. I'm trying to figure out. So I'm getting stuff back there. Can you come out here with us, please? What the hell was that? I have no idea. You can set off one of our alarms if you get close to it. Can you see us? This is the one room that I thought was kind of creepy. Are you in this room? Is there a little girl in here? That was loud. Yeah. Did you hear that? What'd you hear? A little girl goes, <laughs> A little girl, can you tell us your name? We can't hurt you. Go uneasy, like I'm getting pushed. Let me see it. Alarm's well, going off. That's an SB7. Was that you by me? Was you standing beside me? I got a whole bunch of alarms in this bedroom back here. Oh. What was it? Something just touched my arm. Yeah, I'm getting... Did you hear that? It was like right here. Did you just touch me? That was a pretty distinctive touch too. Did you just hear that thud? Yeah, it's like a thud. Are you by that alarm over there by television? If you are, can you set that off for me? The 
like right now, I mean, I'm getting like cold chills throughout my whole body. And it's like, I can't even hardly stand my, like right here started to hurt for a second and just faded, but oh. Are you back here again? Can you tell me why you're here? Was it the little girl that touched Josh? Man, I can't get over this feeling. What? Fist walked through there that way, nothing went off or shook. Did I scare you? That's crazy. Oh, I had my heart racing. Yeah, let's find an area that feels uncomfortable and just focus on that. Yeah. Two. I've seen something come down at me. I was feeling. Are you touching Rocky? Yeah, there's nothing by you. It said earlier. Touch. When you go through the apps. Yes. yes. Okay. Now let me explain this. I was using that while you guys was outside, and then Josh came in. And then it said touch. And then it said face. Are you touching me? Who's right behind me? I can feel you. Yes. Sadness. Face. You gonna touch one of our faces? Yes. Draw. Who are you that touched Rocky? Do you like touching people's face? What's up with the numbers? Can you tell me what these numbers mean? Do you uh, stand on the outside? Face again. Did you see anything on my face, Josh? <laughs> Are you touching Rocky? Did you hear something out there, Josh? I heard like walking. Yeah. You like going around touching us? No. <gasps> That's freaking creepy. Can you touch Josh? Or me? Let us know that you're still in this room with me. You want Rocky to stay in here by himself? What? Did Josh just hear you? There's something on my elbow. Why did he touch me? There's something on my Q. I don't know what that. If you like touching Rocky, they don't you? Can you tell me how old you are? No. No. This thing doesn't like answering questions. What the heck? I think something just touched my neck. Did you just touch me? Man, that gave me like the cold chills right when it touched that. The touches are very distinct. Yeah. Okay, do you want Josh to stay in here by yourself? Yes. <gasps> I'm going to stay in here with you. Are you going to talk to him? Maybe after Josh. Maybe I'll come in and sit in here. Is that okay? No. Holy oh, shit. Okay. Who's walking? Okay, so right now I'm inside the house by myself. Always creepier when you're in here by yourself. My name is Josh. Who was talking to us earlier? Picture. Picture. Is there a little girl in here with me? Index.
What the frick was that? Hello? Who was that? I'm in here by myself. Is there a little girl in here? Are you walking out there? Shovel. Shovel. Who is walking in here? They said that a little girl appears in that window behind me. The closet. Closet. Violent. Violent. Don't get violent with me. What closet are you in? It said closet and violent. I think there's a closet back here that they heard you. Kid. Kid. Oh, no way. It said kid. Who is the kid? Are you hiding in a closet? Can you tell me your name? Rapture. Rapture. Can you tell me when I get close to you? Whoa. Away. <gasps> no way. Feeling. You just move those hangers. Double. Dude, look, when I walk through here, Did you just move those hangers? Okay, I set my alarm in that chair. That's a kid-sized chair. If the kid is in here, can you come sit in the chair for me? Hi, EMF. What is your name? Got a huge spike. Where did you go? I'm going to move. I'm going to move away from that chair. Samantha. Observe. Observe. Myra. Myra. Who is Myra? Together. Kid. Kid. It keeps Five. saying. They keep saying kid. Myra, is that your name? That's kind of a weird name to come across this. It has said kid twice. Myra, I'm not next to that anymore. Can you go sit by that chair for me? I know you can move stuff, whoever's inside this house. Because you knocked a bag off the top of the refrigerator earlier. Okay, I've got that equipment off. Now if you want to communicate with me, you can move something, hit something, or touch me. Are you a little girl? Can you see me? Are you angry? The energy.
energy in here just got like crazy dark. I know you're in this house with me. Why did it say violent? Did somebody do something bad to you? Did somebody hurt you? Right here just feels so freaking uneasy. Yeah, this air whore. Hello? Who's in this house? Are you really a child? I hear you knocking. They say that you appear in that window. This whole room just got so freaking cold. It's like I felt comfortable earlier, but now it's like a dark, heavy feeling. I'm going to put a camera by this window. Did you hit the window? Myra? Why did you say that you were violent? I don't want you to be violent with me. I'm going to send Sean in here. I'm starting to think you're really not a kid. I just want to know if somebody did something bad to you. We can help you. I'm going to go outside. Okay, Myra, I'm going to leave this run for a few minutes. Nobody will be in here, so if you want to talk. Okay, you can talk for a little bit. I'll be back. SP7 out. It's going off. Hello? I know you've been in here talking to Josh. So if you want to say something, this is going to be the time Bell will talk to us. I hope that's okay that we're here to talk to you. <gasps> Walking. Whoa! Holy shit! Oh my god. Hello? Who's back there? I hear you. That was freaking. Holy shit. No. Hush up. I think a door just freaking moved back here. I mean, it was freaking loud. It's growling. What are you growling for? Now that I've been scared, see it don't take much to scare me. Are you in there now? Hold. Holy shit. What are you doing? Hey, can you walk away from my alarm? Holy shit. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna sit right here, okay? 
Like I said, you know where the alarms are now. Would you like to talk to me? I'll set this device right here. Sorry if I scared you whenever I jumped. Where are we? I think at your home. I don't know. Was this your home at one time? True. Okay. Where's your mom and dad at? Me. What do you need help with? The male voice that we keep hearing, is that your dad? I gotta get up, I'm gonna check that camera and make sure it's still recording. Yes. That's not your dad? Okay. Is it okay if I go back here to the bedroom? Do you not like me moving around? Thank you. Can you move that chair? What do you need help with? Move that chair and let me know that you're in this living room with me and I'll stay in here. But you gotta move the chair, okay? I got alarms on here too. Can you set any of these alarms off? I don't know what all that means. Can you tell me what your name is? Goodbye. Well, don't leave me. I just started talking to you. Where'd you go? Friend. You want me to be your friend? Well, don't sacrifice me. You already said you wanted to be violent with Josh. So please don't do, do no sacrifice. Do you know what we're going to do later? We're going to do a cleansing and Josh is going to be talking about the Lord. Is that okay? Do you feel like you're stuck here? I'm in pain. Why are you in pain for Are you scared? Alarm's going off again. Can you tell me why you're in pain? Holy shit. Don't leave. I'm not leaving. That's the alarm out here. Who? Who are you talking to? Somebody keeps going by this door and setting my alarm off. Hello? Okay. Okay, can you walk away from it, please? Thank you. Follow you. You're following me? Can you do the right, can you go around on the right side of that alarm? Why do you want me to be quiet? I didn't do anything. Just trying to talk to you. I'm not sure why you're doing that. Watching you. You're watching me? Holy shit, there it goes again. Over here. Yeah, I know you're over here. Feeling. Okay, I'm shutting it off. Because you keep talking to me, but I don't know what the heck you're doing. That thing's been sitting there all night. If you don't like me being in here, I'll leave. I'll just walk out the door. Cupboard. Cupboard. Did you move that earlier? Another room. Well, what room? In front of you. You're in front of me? Can you touch me? Do something really loud. Danger. danger? Who's in danger? In 
inside. What the heck? Hey, Sean, we're going to come in and then we're going to bring Bev in to investigate and see how things change. Okay, so we've got Bev back in the house with us because you were getting stuff that was more vulgar. Yeah. From a male spirit. Yeah, names. So we want to see how they react with you in here versus what we got earlier tonight. We know that you've tried communicating with her and that you've said some pretty bad things to her. What's wrong? What are you feeling? I don't know. I just keep the crying. Something, Something was back there behind you. <laughs> Stop whatever you're doing to me right now, please. You think you're picking up on the little girl? I don't know what it was. I, I don't know. I just I started crying and I couldn't quit. Whew. See if she's got a message. Are you affecting Bev right now? Are you the little girl? Did you hear that? Yeah. Go back to where those hangers are. Yeah, stop right there and just ask some questions. Can I ask who you are? And while you're here with me, did I bring you home from someplace? You're scaring my grandkids and I don't like it. I don't want you here. I think it's trying to make me start crying again. <laughs> See if it's, I mean, maybe it's trying to get a message to me. Are you trying to tell me something? What the f is that? I don't know. Oh, I always saw it just behind me. Yeah. Why do you keep making me feel this way? What's wrong? I don't know. It just feels like somebody's here and I just don't know where. I mean, there's got to be a reason whatever it is is making you feel the emotions. Right Did there. You that? Yes. Kid? Yeah. Is the child, are you trying to communicate through Bev? Bev can feel you. Knocking. If it's her feeling like that, she's really sad. I think something happened to her. She told me that she was in pain. Did you hear that? What the f this? What was it? What was that? Holy Jesus Lord. That was so. Hey, I'm sorry, it's freaking me out. Sorry. The door just opened. That was so loud back there. Oh my god, that's crazy. What the hell just fell? Okay, back up a little bit. Who's back there? My camera had to pick that I up. I am sweating right now, really bad. Yeah, but I kept hearing a girl behind me. Try talking to that girl again. Little girl, can you tell me your name? I would love to help you if I can. Who are you? We just want to help you if we can. But you've got to try really, really hard to communicate with us. Are you in here with us right now? I promise we can help you. If somebody hurts you, what the hell was that? It's not like something moved. Where at? I don't know if it's, I think, one of the bedrooms. Are you in pain? Is the man in here? Oh, that's 
P7, I think, ain't it? So you are the man. Did you follow Bev from another investigation? Can you hear us? Yes or no? Did you just clutch me? Did you follow Bev here from a location? How old is the child? 20. Is the man 20 or the child oh, 20? Our camera just went completely dead. Here. Did you just shut off our camera? Yes. Did you follow me here? Why are you here? Are you related to that little girl? Did you bring her here? Oh, hi. Little kid said hi. Yeah. What's your name? The little girl, are you making Bev emotional? Are you trying to give a message to Bev? What do you want to tell Bev? Where are you at right now? Bedroom. Go to the kid's bedroom. Are you back here? Do you come to the window? What happened to you? What did it say? Drown? That's, did what you? I, that's what I had earlier. Drown? Did somebody drown you? Josh, no something out here just said help. Where you at? You want to set this alarm off again for me? I remember earlier you told me monster. Is somebody scaring you? What room are you in right now? I need to go. Where do you need to go? I see that you're setting my alarm off again. I appreciate that. We're going to help you, okay? Would you like our help? We'll get, get you away from the monster? Abused. Abused. I was going to ask or why you was in pain. Who abused you? Would you like to say something to me? Picture. Oh, I got picture earlier too. Mm -hmm. Like over and over again it said picture. Reach out. Reach out. What is with a picture? Can we find a picture somewhere? Is there a picture of you somewhere that we can find? Completely separate devices that we've gotten picture over and over again on. Yeah. Okay. Heather, you can talk to me a lot easier. So you got to be a little quick. Funny. What's funny? The alarm? You like setting the alarms off? I love you. Oh, oh I love you too. Thank you. We just want to help you, okay? Thank you for coming back up to me. Would you like to leave this place and go be somewhere at peace? Did you make uh, Bev sad earlier? Is there a man that's crossed over already? Is he the one that hurt you? 
the one that abused you. I know you're close to me. Are you close to me or are you close to Bev? Okay, let's just quit being nice to it. Get aggressive with it. No, you. I don't think it's a kid. I don't think it is either. I think you guys are being Give fooled. No. I don't think you're a kid. I'm a female. <laughs> See? Disrespectful. Then hit something really hard and prove to us that you're a kid. How did you die? Speak. Are you a friend? No, I'm not your friend. Do you not like when I get aggressive? I think you're tricking everybody that's here. I'm not falling for your tricks. We're going to cleanse this house. And we're going to help you leave. What is your name? My name is Josh. But you probably already know that, don't you? Did you hurt the little girl? Laughing. Holy shit. What a jerk. Nobody thinks it's funny. We think you're a coward. I see you. Then do something. Do you feel guilty? What happened? That's what you gotta tell us what happened. Are you going to leave tonight? Because I sure don't want you here. You scared my grandkids. Is that what you were trying to do? Framed. Framed. You're not a kid, are you? I don't know. Oh, Harm. That's right behind you, Josh. Mm -hmm. Harm. Harm. Don't be harming me. Plate. You've already made me feel sick and stuff. Fifteen. You need to tell me what you want from me. I need to go. Don't go yet, please. We're not done talking. Yeah. Oh, the alarm went off. We're going to help you go. You can no longer scare the grandkids. Crying. Crying. Mm -hmm. Leave it. Leave it. I feel so irritated with it because I feel like it's kind of just taken over everything. That's how I felt, like, angry with it. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel right now. I'm just irritated. You come in here, you scare my grandkids, you break my stuff. You need to leave. You cannot be here anymore. You're going to leave. They're going to make you leave. How does it make you feel? I'm coming. Are you affecting Bev? I want to hear you talk. In danger. In danger. Are we in danger? Are you finished talking to us? Do we make you mad? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. It's time to leave and move on. We come in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, we ask that you defend us as we start this cleansing. If there's anything inside this house, whether it be good or evil, in the name of Jesus Christ, we cast you out of this house. We're going to cleanse this house. We're going to help you move on. If there's anything that's attached to Bev, in the name of Jesus Christ, we drive that away. That if she has an attachment or anything that's been following her, we cast that out in your name. We command you to leave this house, leave this property, and to leave Bev. We're going to seal this room with the sign of the cross 
and the blood of Jesus Christ, we seal this bed with the sign of the cross. It is Jesus who gave us the authority to cast you out. Any spirits inside this house, we cast you out. You must leave. Leave this house, leave this property. You are no longer welcome here. We close all entryways, doorways, and portals that may have been opened inside this house. We wash this house in the blood of Jesus Christ. <laughs> you must leave this house. All right. Stop making me feel this way. Whatever is affecting Bev, we cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Leave Bev. Any spirits in there, we cast you out. You must leave this house. It is Jesus who has authority over this house now. Whatever was knocking and banging in this room, we banish you in the name of Jesus. We seal this room. We close all entryways, doorways, and portals. Leave this house. In the name of Jesus Christ, we command you to leave. If there was a little girl that is on this property, we want you to go be at peace now. We are sorry for what happened to you. The person that may have hurt you will face their judgment. You no longer have to be here. This house has been washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. It is Jesus who has authority over this house and over this property now. You need to leave my house and leave my kids alone and get away from me and stop making me feel like this. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you here. Get the hell out of here and stay out. Bev's nightmare ends tonight. She's taking back control of her house and her life. I don't want you to keep making me feel sad.